Hi everyone, this is Irwan and welcome to my first video tutorial on YouTube. You can find my channel at youtube.com forward slash Vision TV. And today we're going to look at a little effect let me just show you guys. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in After Effects. I'm using After Effects CS3, so let's jump right ahead. Okay, so first of all, let's go to project and let's create a new composition. I'm going to make the resolution 1280 by 720. I'm going to leave it at 25 frames a second, South Africa. And let's make it 20 seconds, should be fine. Let's click OK. And there's your new composition. What I'm going to do, I'm going to import some uh, footage and also a JPEG. So first of all, let's import... Uh, let's go to... That folder. I'm going to import my knife JPEG and I'm also going to import the footage that we're going to be looking at. Basically the knife picture is a little picture I got from Google, uh, just a knife with a green background so it's easy to key out and the footage is just a little clip of Marguerite throwing a little knife at Adrian. Okay, so let's look at this quickly. Bam. Okay, so I think the first step will be is uh, just to key out the knife. So we can leave the footage there. Let's drag in the knife. I'm going to click on the picture, right click effects, and we're going to go to. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go to keying, and I'm going to go to key light 1.2. That's what I use. Click on the little color thing, click on the green, and there we go. It's keyed out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in here <clears throat> and we just want to scale the knife down. Scale it down all the way. That size is a little bit big, but that's fine. Let's move it a little, make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go forward until I'm just using the keyboard, the page up and the page down to frame forward and backwards. So let's go to that area right about, say, about there. I'm going to put the knife there. That's where it's going to start. I'm going to click on the knife, click on press P just to bring up the position and I'm going to click on this stopwatch because we want to animate that. Then, zoom out a bit. Oops. Okay, I'm going to go forth and until we see his reaction, uh, so it's about right about there, I am going to move the knife over and it should be hitting right there. So as you can see, it created two uh, keyframes, so we know that animation is working. So if I view it, you can see the knife travels and it stops right there. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to put some rotation on that knife. So I'm going to select the knife again and click on the knife and click or press R for rotation. I'm going to go frame forward until we get to that spot there. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm just going to rotate it so it looks sort of it's sticking into his head just about there okay I'm gonna click the stopwatch again because we want to animate that rotation as well and let's move over to this side I'm gonna frame back and now we just want to spin it a bit so I'm gonna give it about so two spins should be fine and if we play it now we should see that rotation there we go it's a bit fast, but if I frame through it, you can see it's actually spinning. Okay. The next step is actually just to fade the knife in at that location and also to fade it out at that location because we're going to use a third layer just to do the knife that's actually sticking out of his head with some tracking. So let's go back to the beginning. That's the frame there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And the way I'm going to fade it in is just with uh, using opacity. So I'm going to click on that layer. I'm going to press T for opacity. And I'm going to click on the stopwatch, go one frame back, and bring it down to zero. So now you don't see the knife. And if we go one frame forward, you can see the knife. Let's do the same with the other side. So it's going to go in there. I'm going to click on that little button here just to create a keyframe. And I'm going to go one frame on, and I'm going to bring it down to zero. So it basically disappears there as well. There you can see it, next frame it's gone. There we go. <clears throat> Another thing we can add is some motion 
blur because as you can see it's not looking very good go to that frame and you just click the little motion blur button there and also for the scene switches it on let's see it actually motion blurs and there we go so let's go to this keyframe there and what I'm going to do I'm going to add another layer <clears throat> or we can actually duplicate this layer because we're going to use the same picture let's just rename the bottom one to knife throw <clears throat> and we can rename this one just to knife in head right let's select that layer I'm going to go into the opacity because it's got all the same keyframes and things so I'm just going to un animate that and bring the opacity up to 100 and let's go to P for position unclick that and also to rotation unclick that so now we've got the knife basically sitting right there let's scroll back here okay so it's going to go into his head right about there and I don't want that layer to show up any earlier than this frame so I'm just going to drag that layer over Hold and shift and there we go so as you can see if you go one back it will disappear play the animation there we go okay next step is we're going to do some tracking um, see if we can actually do some tracking on this footage uh, so we can actually just hide that layer for now we can track it from right about there so first of all I'm going to create a null object that's where we're going to store the tracking data so I'm just going to rename it to tracking data okay I'm going to track this footage so I'm going to highlight the footage let's just rename that as well Oops, footage and I'm going to click on track motion here and what we want to track is <coughs> oops, we're going to track his head. So let's zoom in here a little bit and let's try and track this point here. I'm not sure if it's going to do it because it's quite pixelated but let's try anyways. Right about there. Now I'm going to click on track forward. Okay, it's not a very good track. As you can see it's jumping around a bit. But that's alright. It will give us the basic movement and then all we can do is just sort of fix it along the way. Okay, so let's unhide that layer and let's go to where we can actually see that layer. <coughs> okay, what we want to do now is we want to just edit the target, make sure that it's on the tracking data, that's the null object we created. Click OK, then click Apply and we want to apply the X and the Y. Right, so we can close that there. And if we scrub forward, we've got the track. The track is not very good, but oh well, we can fix it along the way. So let's go to the knife in head. Uh, I'm just going to frame forward a little bit, see where we are. So we actually want to track it right from there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to parent that knife in head layer to the tracking data. And if we move along, that should sort of move along with him. It's jumping around a bit, but the shot is not too long, so we can actually do that frame by frame, not too much work. But basically, if your footage is more crisp, um, the tracking is going to work much better, and uh, it's just going to it's just going to be easier. All right. So first of all, let's just get the position right. So I'm going to click on or press P on the keyboard click on the stopwatch and I'm just going to quickly go frame by frame and just reposition the knife so I'll be back in a second okay once I've uh, tracked the position I am going to track the rotation and to or sort of fix the rotation and animate the rotation so I'm going to click on the stopwatch next to rotation and let's have a look okay I'm back next step that we want to do we want to mask out the part that's going to be inside his head so I'm just going to highlight that layer and I'm going to click the pen tool and let's just mask out that part right there. So let's have a look. Uh, it's not the perfect track but anyways for the tutorial that should be fine. So let's look at the animation from there. 
Okay, not too bad. It's a bit jumpy, but as I said, for the tutorial, that's fine. So another thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add some uh, blur to that layer. Um, just looks a bit sharp. It stands out a bit. So let's right click on that layer, go to Effect, go to Blur, and let's select Fast Blur. That should be fine. Uh, let's make it about 20. No, that should be fine. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, as I said, the footage is sort of quite far, so you won't see that jumping around too too harshly. Okay, next we're going to add some blood. <clears throat> so let's go back to project and we're going to import some blood footage. Uh, what I'm using, I'm using Andrew Kramer's Action Essentials. We're going to go into that, go into blood. And let's just use the squirt, uh, squirt up one. Okay, I'm going to drag that over. Let's look at that. Nice. Okay, what we want to do is we want to size it down a bit. And I also want to rotate it around that way. Oh, actually, I'm going to rotate it around this way. And then I'm going to mirror the actual footage, so I'm just going to mirror it around this way and make it smaller, oops, make it smaller, Should make it a lot smaller, okay, let's just zoom in here a bit so we can see what's going on, just see how that looks like, so it comes out quite large, so we must resize it out, okay, that should be fine. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to scrub over until the knife hits right about there and I'm just going to move that blood layer over as well so it actually starts right about there drag it over into position uh, let's drag it over a little bit more so you can actually see more blood coming out at that point so let's just stick it there and let's have a look Okay, another thing I want to do, I want to track the blood, or I want to make it sort of stick to his head. So right at that point, I'm just going to parent the blood to the tracking data as well. There we go. And then it will sort of move along with him. Let's have a look. Okay. What you can do as well, we're going to color correct that blood and just add a little bit of a blur onto it. So I'm going to select the blood layer, go to effects, go to color correction, and let's use curves. And I'm just going to boost the red a bit, so you select red, boost it up a bit, take the green, pull it down, take the blue, pull it down. And let's just right click here and add a little bit of a blur, so I'm just going to add a fast blur as well. And mm, let's make that. Okay, let's have a look at the final animation. Right, so that's basically that. Um, as I said, the tracking, your tracking will definitely be better than mine because um, I put the camera a little bit far away from the action, so it's a bit pixelated. Um, and that's that. Thank you for watching.